Hello, welcome to a new video of Dynasty War, and today we're going to talk about enhancing skill, and we're going to talk about Dao Chan today. Dao Chan, I have made a video about her uh, quite a while ago when I uh, first awakened her, and I talk about why she is a good hero to awaken and why she is strong. But as you can see, the one that I have right now is 10 out of 15 and 1 out of 5. Obviously, I haven't upgraded her at all, and because I don't think she needed any upgrade. But let's start off with her main skill. Uh, revive a nearby friendly hero. It doesn't have to be nearby. It will always revive any hero on the battlefield up to 100% HP. Uh, before you get up to 10 out of 10, it's not 100. I think she starts with 60%, which is already better than the 6 star hero, which allow, uh, which can revive at uh, maxed out already. So I forgot which one it is, but the 6 star hero at 7 out of 7, uh, she can revive up to 60%, I think. So the base level Dao Chan already uh, surpassed that amount already, or at least equivalent. So that's already very powerful. I mean, why you would want her is because she has this very strong utility skill that allows you to revive a friendly hero. And uh, and then after she activated her skill, uh, revive the hero, and then she will heal her surrounding, all troops in her surrounding. I don't know exactly if there is a limit to how many troops she would heal uh, at each second. So I'm not sure about that, but it lasts for 15 seconds, and at 10 out of 15, uh, heals 6,775 HP. And that will depend on her DPS, which also depends on her uh, partnership, so a uh, damage partnership. So if you have her damage partnership satisfied, this skill would be at max, uh, maxed out already, and then obviously her own level. Because this skill, the, the healing, the amount of healing, does depend on her own level. As I said, depends on her DPS, that's why it depends on her level. But let's take a look at her uh, awakening skill. Awakening skill, again, a very unique awakening skill, revives herself upon the first time she dies. Uh, it revives her and then give her 10% HP. Uh, each time you upgrade a awakening skill, you get 5 extra percent. So at 5 out of 5, it's 30%. But let's take a look at how much 10% is, because this uh, Dao Chan is already maxed out level 60 with the uh, HP partnership. 4,000 HP. So 10% is about 400-ish HP. Uh, obviously, if you have treasure and hero seal, hero seal um, they, they will go up, but it's still not a lot. But, um, I mean, I'll go into uh, further detail explaining if it is worth upgrading her skill, because obviously she is already very strong. She doesn't need too much upgrading because the upgrading is not uh, really that uh, valuable in my opinion. So let's jump to there and see. Okay, so right here I listed her skill level and the total healing that she does after she activated her skill and uh, what it means per second because again remember her skill has two parts reviving a friendly hero to 100% HP and then healing the, her surrounding. The 100% HP does not change. You can't go more than 100% HP when you revive a hero. Uh, it won't make sense if um, that happens. So. That stops at 10 out of 10. You can get that before awakening already. If that's the only thing that you care, you don't really have to awaken her. But um, you started off with 6,775 um, total healing when you are at level 60 at 10 out of 15. Each level you go, uh, you go up, you get 140 extra, uh, and then five level later you go up to well, you have additional 700 total healing, which is it, it sounds like a lot, and uh, the total is 7,475 total HP. Uh, total healing. So, uh, why does uh, why does I why did I made it sound like it's not really that great? Because remember, it lasts for 15 seconds. So if you divide that amount by 15, you actually see the amount of healing per second, which is more important than this number because 15 seconds it's pretty long. Uh, it's a pretty long time. Most hero can use their skill at least once, and what that means is whatever you're healing might die uh, already before the total healing. So th that's why we look at the per second, because look at this 450 uh, healing per second compared to the close to 500 healing per second after the 5 extra level, it's less than 50 uh, healing per second, okay? So in my opinion, this is not really that um, useful, <laughs> the extra 50 healing per second uh, for the 5 extra level. Especially if you just look at the each additional level, you don't get much. You get about nine-ish um, uh, healing per second extra. So when would this be useful? This will be useful when you use it with troops because this will be extremely not useful for heroes because 400 to 500 HP for hero is nothing, right? Heroes, 
um, really will be tanking a lot of damage, especially from the enemy hero or enemy structures. And 400 HP to 500 HP, any heroes on defense can do this amount of damage in one second. So you may think, well, I mean, it's still good because my hero can last one second longer. Yes, that is true, but if you have more, because your hero tends to last longer, they have more HP, that means they draw more attention. This wouldn't help them much, probably prolong their life for maybe one or two seconds. Maybe sometimes that is useful. But again, um, I mean, this does apply to four other four heroes in total. I mean, herself and three other heroes if they're nearby. But what's more useful is the amount of troops that is in the area. And the only reason why you want to level this up is if you will use her with troops. And I agree that can be useful because, for example, a, a seven-star uh, heavy cavalry I think has thousand two hundred HP, something around there. This is about close to um, forty percent of their total HP, and each second, if you can heal a unit for their um, half of the HP, that's a lot. Because when you when we talk about troops, they usually die in couple hit, two or three hit, like lower HP. Let's say don't we're not gonna talk about like the tanky troops yet because. Um, they obviously have more HP, but if we talk about maybe like an alchemist that has um, HP buffed, or again, heavy heavy, supposedly is a tank, but they don't really have a lot of HP compared to um, higher tier uh, troops. But they these troops are the troops that will matter in this case. The extra 50 healing um, per second will make will make a difference because sometimes when you use even you when you use healer, you heal and then they get hit. You heal, they get hit. Heal, hit. There, you see the HP jump around and then slowly they won't be able to last um, the healing won't last um, enough they, it won't be healing enough to um, sustain the uh, damage incoming but this uh, 500 healing per second will be able to keep their life and probably um, heal them to the fullest if they don't get killed one shot because remember this does last for 15 seconds and your troops are unlikely to um, be hit by a lot of things at the same time because if it hit by a, wall, uh, a hero They will get killed in one shot most troops will get killed in one shot by heroes um, They will get killed by purgatory after like maybe three seconds or something like that But let's just say an archer tower or the crossbow these things doesn't kill your your troops in one shot or two shot it takes couple shot and that means it takes couple second so they can uh, get hit by a couple of these structures and still survive and that's all they will get they won't attract too much attention because they're not heroes heroes have a lot of HP and they do uh, attract a lot of um, defensive structures that's just the na nature of a lot of HP so these the healing will be useful especially useful for healing a bunch of troops that maybe have around HP around um, a thousand because if you have a thousand HP each second you be being, being healed by 45% to 50% HP Oh in two seconds you have full HP and if you get hit by a couple of things per second You can still survive and last that long and as a troop that is very important because troops usually die in one or two seconds If they're getting targeted, so this is the only reason why I think you will need to enhance the Chan. other than that you don't need to enhance her original skill and simply because it doesn't do much to heroes and and the reviving uh, another hero that doesn't improve uh, it can improve because it's already maxed out at 10 out of 10 already but let's take a look at the awakening skill awakening skill uh, one uh, one out of five is 10 percent five out of five is 30 percent and uh, she has a base of 4182 hp we show i uh, showed you earlier so 10 percent of that is 400 and 30 percent is 1200 and i think this is a very small amount because it's really um, it's really bad <laughs> uh, She doesn't have that much HP to start with that's why 10% even 30% doesn't um, Doesn't do that much. Okay 10% 400 HP can be killed by any hero in one shot Okay 15% um, when you have 600 something HP, maybe you can last a little bit longer, but it's still um, Not a lot of HP for example if she started with more HP or if you have I mean, I, I do have a, a treasure that buffs her HP, but 4,000 at most, you can just get another 1,000-ish to her. And if you have Hero Seal, um, maybe another 1,000. But still, that's not enough. 30% is on... Right now, if you just look at the 30%, it's on 1,200. Any of my sword hero can do more than that uh, 
damage in one hit. So she will not be able to last one hit from basically anything. I mean, any sword hero. Um, the additional 200-ish HP uh, from each level see, it doesn't seem that uh, useful to me because again, 400, 600, 800 HP, um, they can, she can be easily killed by alchemists. Even alchemists can kill her uh, when she revives. Just, you just need like two or three, and that will be the, that will be it. So I really don't see the need to upgrade this. Again, her skill is so strong that I don't think she needs upgrading. She needs doesn't need to be uh, stronger. And that is why I think um, she's kind of designed in this way. It kind of makes sense because her her awakening skill or is already powerful because it revived herself. And why is reviving herself powerful? And we don't need the extra HP because once she die and then revive, the, whatever is attacking her, the hero or um, structure, they retargeted um, their their target. They find a different unit to attack. And basically, you uh, she get a second chance. And if you treat her as a troop, not a hero, she is a very high damaging troop. Four, she does have four hundred something uh, DPS, and she get a second chance to do something that she cannot do before she die the first time. That's one thing. Uh, it can be it can be very useful. But if you're thinking, okay, well, I want her to revive and be stay along, stay alive for a long time, that won't happen in here. <laughs> it might be in some situation, but it won't really do much. Um, the other thing is, if she, if you have the treasure that spawns a alchemist, I think four um, alchemists, that's the maximum. She, the first time she dies, she have she can have a uh, four alchemist with her already. You get immediate, instant reinforcement. If she dies again immediately, she get another four. That's eight alchemists in total. That's basically a full alliance camp of um, alchemists. And in my first video where I talk about awakening her, I talk about her being uh, awakening skill very useful because basically I could get eight more uh, alchemists in short time. What that means for the attacker is they have to deal with uh, uh, reinforcement troops, alliance troops again in the middle of the battle. And at that time I was saying, I don't really want to level her um, awakening skill up because I want her to die again really quickly. <laughs> because I value four more uh, alchemists than a Dao Chan with a couple hundred uh, or even 1000 HP. Because the four alchemists will do more damage than she does, and maybe in the combined HP, they probably are the same. So I don't really see a reason why you want to upgrade her, her, um, her awakening skill if. If you experience um, the extra HP being helpful, maybe that is true. Um, again, if you use Dao Chan on defense, that is helpful because more HP on defense, that means you tank for longer, you waste the attacker more time, you buy yourself more time to defend. That's a good thing. But again, who uses Dao Chan on defense except me? <laughs> I don't even use her on defense right now because I find it, um, it doesn't work as if I wanted to. I, it doesn't work because she will die and the, a lot, um, the alchemist will die with her. The first four uh, alchemists will die with her, and then the second four alchemists will also die soon after she dies. This happens a lot because everyone uses Zhuge Liang, and this happens because, I mean, even right now, Zhuge Liang with Hero Seal can easily do, um, each lightling can hit more than 1200 easily. And what that means is, if, even if you have um, a 5 out of 5 um, Dao Chan, she can be killed by one lightning strike once she is revived. So basically what the story is, if you have less than 3000 or 2000 ish HP, Juglian can kill both of your Dao Chan, like the, the original one and the revived one, and all eight alchemists in one skill. So basically it completely neglects the fact that you can spawn eight alchemists. And that's why I find out it's not that useful. Because what will happen is uh, Juglian does five lightning, so it will take two lightning, zap zap, and then she dies, and then she will spawn alchemist, and then herself, and then it takes another zap or two to kill her with the alchemist that is at the exact location <laughs> with her. So all four alchemists and herself die, and then four extra spawn, and then it will just another lightning strike hit, completely gone, completely useless. I mean, some situation is very helpful, but what I've experienced, what I've learned using Dao Chan on defense is that it doesn't work as if um, it doesn't work work as good as we wanted to, or as good as it sounds like. Well, you spawn eight more alchemists. 
um, it doesn't really happen um, the way that I wanted to. <laughs> so uh, I do agree that she doesn't need to be upgraded because just by being at 10 out of 15 and 1 out of 5, it's already very useful. She is a utility hero, uh, very strong in that um, in that field. So there is not really any reason to upgrade her. I mean, they have a reason to make her upgradable, but the upgrade is not doesn't give you too much. And it shouldn't because if they do give you way more advantage, she would be um, overpowered uh, in many ways. I mean, she's already very strong, like reviving any hero with couple thousand HP uh, and then they can still go out and, and fight again. They had basically by having her, you you don't lose a hero spot, right? You have four hero, you use one spot for her, but she can basically revive one of the other three, which might be um, way stronger than any other fourth choice. So that's why I think, and especially right now we have the new goddess hero. You can see why the healing per second is important. She is more for troops and goddess. I think she does over a thousand HP healing per second. That is for um for hero, okay. And high HP troops, maybe tiger, warrior, or the fighting elephant or the uh, the carts. So that's the only couple of troops that I can think of that can uh, use this goddess as an advantage. I mean, I think I talk about that in that uh, update video as well. But uh, this is it for this video. If you guys use Dao Chan in a different way that I explained, then you guys use it in uh successful way, please let me know so I can use her like that as well. But uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.